Kinky Kids Hair Care and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own barrettes. I'm pretty sure if you've experienced this you get a cute outfit for your daughter you get her hair done and then you're looking for something to match her hair and you can't find anything. Um, you go to stores and sometimes you can't find barrettes that you really like so why not make them yourself? So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute cherry barrettes which actually match a pair of shorts that I um, have for her. I also will be showing you in future videos how to make these cute barrettes right here that are just bows, as well as other little ideas I come up with. So to get started, what you're going to need is gross grain ribbon, 3 8 gross grain ribbon, green and red. You can use satin or gross grain, okay? As long as it's three inches and you're also going to need alligator clips you can use this kind or this kind it doesn't really matter I got mine from Sally's you get about a hundred clips from there this is the brand that I um, picked up and I spent probably like three or four dollars on a hundred of these so you can get about a hundred barrettes out of this which is not bad okay gonna need a lighter some scissors. I'm gonna need some type of measuring tool, a ruler. This is a uh, cutting mat. If you have one of those, you can use that. If you don't, that's fine. You can just use your ruler. And also, this is optional. You don't have to use this, but I like bling, so I'm gonna be using a. I hope you can see that. A rhinestone. Okay. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is cut your ribbon out. The green ribbon you're gonna need eight inches you can see that of green you're also going to need five inches of the green for the red you're going to need four two inch pieces okay once you cut those out take your lighter and seal the ends of each piece of ribbon to keep it from fraying Also, you're going to need a glue gun. I forgot to mention that in, in the beginning, but you're going to need a hot glue gun, which I have mine over here. It's heating up. Okay, to get started, let's get started on lining our alligator clip. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your five inch piece of ribbon and you're going to put about an inch of hot glue on your ribbon. So I'm going to take the glue gun and put about an inch of it on here. Take your ribbon, your alligator clip, and just basically clip onto it like that and make sure it's nice and even. Okay, so now the next thing you're going to do, take your glue gun again and you're going to put some glue going straight all the way to the top of this alligator clip. So just go just like this. And work rather quickly because the glue likes to dry up really fast on metal. Okay. Now you're going to take your ribbon and pull it back. And make sure it's nice and even. So now it should look like this. Okay, so now what you're going to do is take the glue gun again and put a line of glue all the way to the very end of the ribbon. So I'm going to do that. And now you're going to take the ribbon, you're going to kind of push it down in here like that and then down like that. So it looks like, I hope you was able to see that. And that's how it looks. So that's how you line 
your alligator clips and this is something that you're going to do for every single barrette that you make always line them okay so the next step let's get started on our cherries so what you're going to do is basically you're going to be making little rings like this these little circle things so first I'm going to put a dot of glue right here and be careful not to burn yourself okay but you're going to basically wrap this into a little ring or circle okay so let's do the next one the next one what you're going to do is you're going to put a dot of glue on the back where you see where this meets you're going to put some glue here and put this on here just like that so let's do that okay so next you're going to take this one and you're going to wrap it over the top I put a dot of glue right here first before you do it so it can hold it in place. And then now you're going to take, you're going to put a dot of glue here and you're going to wrap this down to the back like that. Let that dry. So I'm going to do this again with these other two pieces of um, ribbon and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got both of the cherries done. You can see here. Okay, I brought, I got I grabbed a grab of her shorts, and this is how they look. You see that it is so freaking adorable, and that's the reason why I decided to make these. You can see how they match. That's cute. If you want a pair of shorts like these, I do sell them on my website at sonataelise.com. They are handmade and 100% cotton. They have cute little lace trimming it. And um, I sell them in size 2T to 5T currently. So if you're interested in that, um, I do have them for sale. <laughs> and if you have something else with cherries on it at home, that would do too. Okay, so let's continue. Let's take the um, green ribbon now. This is our eight inch piece of ribbon. And you're going to make a breast cancer awareness ribbon with it. So you're gonna just crisscross it over like this. Now make sure it's even on both sides. And then take this piece right here and pull it down and make sure that that's even. And it looks pretty even to me you can even like compare it to the first one you made if you if you're making two if you're only making one it doesn't really matter so now that I have this um, ready I'm going to put some glue right here in the middle so what you're going to do is hold this in place you're going to lift it up put your glue there and then put it back down so you won't lose your spot So now you're going to turn it over to the back and you're going to put a dot of glue here and you're going to take this part and hit it right there to create like a bow, kind of like a bow. It's supposed to be like a bow slash leaves. So now I'm just going to lay this down like this. Right now it just looks like a cute little bow. So what you're going to do is you're going to put some glue on both ends and you're going to glue your cherries on but when you glue them on make sure that you put the part where you can see this um, this where it's connecting at in the back that's what you're going to put facing down so no one can see that so uh, next I'm going to take this and pick it up and put some glue making a line of glue just going straight across the back of this bow right here so 
So you can be done, pretty much done at this point. You don't have to put the rhinestone on if you don't want to, but I, I like that. So I'm going to put a dot of glue right here in the center of the ball. And you can even use like some sequins if you have those on hand and just glue a sequin on, it's up to you. I'm going to put that there, remove some more excess glue, and that's it. That's how you make a cherry barrette. So, two cherry barrettes. Very cute and easy to do. I hope this video was a great help to you. I look forward to making more videos, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!